Hey everybody, Sean here from BoardParacord.com and also Paracord.com now. Um, today I want to show you a Star, we Star Wars themed bracelet. We're going to do a blue lightsaber bracelet. So I've got some colonial blue, but you can really use any blue I think. Um, I got about a foot of that. That'll come in just a little bit. And I got about nine feet of black just because I didn't want to run out. Um, so let's get started. I've already melted the ends of the nine feet and flattened them so that they'll go through the buckle a little easier. So I'll just put these together and run all the paracord through my fingers to find the center point. And there's my center point loop. Now if you look at these buckles, one side of the buckle, and most buckles are like this, they have one hole that's bigger than the other, which is on this one, it's our left side. So from here, we're gonna take this, this loop here and we're going to take it down through the top of the buckle and you want to go down through the, the wider side because the loop has a harder time getting through here okay so you pull the loop through the buckle open the loop up and push the buckle down through that loop and pull it tight like this and that will give you your cow's hitch some people call it a lark's, lark's head um, but there's how you attach your paracord to the buckle okay from this point I, I just like to flip the buckle over like that and then pull all the cord through my fingers like this so that it gets rid of all the twist and then from here we flip the buckle back over and from the bottom side we put our paracord up through the buckle and this is where flattening out your end makes it a lot easier to get this paracord through here if you don't flatten it out you'll have a hard time doing it if you can do it at all and we'll just go like that and pull everything through we're just looking for the basic, basic shape of the bracelet, which is right here. And from that point, you can go ahead and open this buckle up. That one that way, this one that way. And I don't think I want to go quite that long. Okay, so what you want to do is set up your buckle so that you have um, one end down here where you started your, your uh, cow's hitch and then the paracord goes over to the other side up through and what you want to do is make your measurement from this edge the edge of the, the female end down to the edge of the male end but don't don't get this part so everything my finger is covering don't measure that you want to measure right to this this little edge here because this part of it's going to be inside of the bracelet over here and you will not see that so it does not count in your measurement all right the first thing i want to do is do the regular Solomon so we are going to take your left cord and cross over the two center cords just like that I'm, let me zoom in on this for you so you can see what I'm doing okay so the left cord goes over the center the right cord goes over that left cord goes behind the back and then up through the loop on the left so you should end up with something that looks just like this. And at this point you just want to snug this up. I'm going to leave that there for a second because I need to show you what we're going to do with the blue. So like I said I have about a foot of this colonial blue and I'm going to actually take out all these center strands and reserve one for, for this as well. So go ahead and pull all those out. Now there's seven of these. I only need one. So we're going to go like that and just discard the other six. And I need to make sure that all of my ends here are singed so that they don't unravel while we're doing this. So I'm just going to hit it real fast. Make sure those are singed. Especially the white one that's in the middle. Because that one will, that one will unravel quicker than you think. Okay, now these are going to get ran together, meaning one of these cords is going to be kind of nestled on top of it. And once it gets flattened out on the bracelet, it'll fit in there just fine. You don't have to do anything. You may, you may have to, if it, if it keeps on falling off track, you may have to hit it with a dot of super glue. Um, it probably won't happen though. The first thing we want to do is get this blue and white incorporated into what we're doing. So. From here, I'm just going to set that right there so it's ready. You want to open this up so that you have kind of 
like three holes here. You got your left, your center, and your right. These two chords here, the white and the blue, those go down through the center hole. And I'm probably going to have to grab a fid for the end of it because it gets a little harder to do once you get at the end. All right, once that's in there, just pull it through about two inches. And then you're going to tighten up your black here, the first knot that you just did. And you want to, at this point, you want to double check your measurements because you can't really go back and change the measurement. Another thing you want to do is make sure that this white is ran on top of the blue. So you might have to twist it a little bit to get the white on top. And there we go, that should be good. Right about there. And you can always fix this at the end too, but it's, it's good to know where you're at with it. Okay, so we'll get that blue out of the way. All right, now what we're gonna do, oh, my camera almost fell over. So let's say this is our bracelet. We want this section between my fingers to be the lightsaber portion. So it's going to be ran on top of the bracelet once we get to this point. Um, before that, we're just going to run it underneath of everything. Well, I'll show you. We'll go over and under. Um, so, now that we've got the first one done, take that cord that went over the top here, so it's on the right side now, and let's bring the blue and the white down. So the blue and the white come down, and we're just going to cross over top of that now. And remember, we can go back when it's all done and put this white on top. So you create another loop with that right cord, create that loop, go over the center, and off to the left, the left cord over that right cord, behind the back of the, the whole thing, and up through the loop on the right. Go ahead and tighten that. So we'll get that tight. Now flip the blue and the white out of the way. And we're going to repeat the whole process. So the cord that goes over top, that one's always going to go over top. The cord that goes behind, that one always goes behind. So right now we're on the left side of it. And it just went over top here. So we're going to loop it around over top of the center. Your right cord over that left cord behind the back. And up through the loop. All right, now it's that one was up. So the last knot you did, the blue and the white were flipped up. So now you're going to flip them down. Now the right, now that over cord is on the right. Create that loop on the right. Cross over the center, and you're going to cross over the blue and the white again. Left cord over your right cord behind the back and up through the loop. And pull it tight. There we go, that's what we're looking for. So we want this white color to run right on the center of the blue. And because it's gutted, that blue will kind of cradle, cradle that white. All right, so now we went under, so what we're going to do is flip this up so that we go over top. So create that loop on the left. We're on the left side now. It, it, it reverses every time you tie one. So left. Right crosses over left, goes behind the back, and up through the loop. Now flip this down. Now we're on the right side, so the right loop over the top. Left, down. Left side crosses the right cord around the back and up through. Now at this point I need to check to see where I'm at with this. Okay, I still got a little ways. I got about two more ties before I can um, just make sure it's over the top. So we flip that out of the way, get it out of the way. Now we're on the left side. So create a loop on the left, cross, and go behind the back. Flip this down. You can kind of adjust this blue and white one as you go. It's not too bad yet. And we'll fix it as we go too. And when we get to the end. Do the next one here. Tie that one. There we go. And I think, yeah, that's probably, that's probably okay there now. So what we're going to do now 
is we're just gonna get this blue and white one out of the way until we reach the two-thirds point. So you have your first third, second third, and third third. Um, once we get to where this finger's at, then we'll start weaving it. But I want this to be on top the whole way. So we're just gonna do the black now. All the way down. And I might even break away. Yeah, I'm gonna break away while I do this, but I do wanna show you. So we did two of them already. But I'm probably going to do about five or six more going this way. And this blue is just going to sit right on top. But I will be back to show you how to uh, finish off this bracelet. Okay, so I've gotten to a point where I think I can show you what I've got going on. Um, like I said, I broke this into three separate sections. You got your first section, second section, which we did not weave like the first section. And then this third section we're going to do just like what we did here. So. What I want this to do is I want this, this is going to be on the outside of your wrist when the bracelet's closed. So I didn't want this to weave. I wanted this to be kind of the focal point of it. So we're just going to do that right on top. Now once you get, I don't know, the middle section to the beginning of your third section, that's when you're going to bring this back down and, and continue weaving it. So looks like we got the loop on the right that we need to do. Cross over. And you're just doing exactly what we just finished up doing. So we'll do our blue in the middle and then the white. We're going to run on top. Just have to pull this up. And that's going to go right down the center of the bracelet. And we can adjust this when it's all done too. So it's not a big deal that it's not staying in place. Flip that out of the way. Actually, I'm, yeah, flip that out of the way and just continue down and I just wanted to show you that real quick now you're just going to alternate like you did at the beginning and this is going to take a little bit of adjusting at the end just keep that in mind as you're going so it's it's just going to be uh, kind of weird once you get down to this point because it's going to look funny. Man, this is a little boring, isn't it? <laughs> I was thinking about doing red, and then I think there's a neon green lightsaber too, but uh, blue's my favorite, so we'll go with the blue. And i got a couple more here. Let's cinch this up just a little bit. There we go. Now when we get to the end, we're going to have to use the FID. So what I've already done is I've already made these into a point and fused them together at the same time so that they get into the FID nice and easily. And I think we can go two more, and then I've got to take the blue down the middle. So we'll cross it over on this one, do one more, and then we'll take it down the middle and out the back. And that's where it ends up living. So we'll go one more. I might have to cinch this up because you want to leave just enough room... Yep, we're going to cinch it up just a little to leave just enough room right here to get one more pass. But what I, what I need to do first is get my fit on here. And I hope it's not too short. And if it is, what I can do is I've got some extra on this end I can pull through. You don't want to pull too much because you don't want it to pull back in. But yeah, I just, I just released a little bit of slack on that. So pull the white tight. Pull that blue tight. There. Okay, so now with the FID loaded, I'm just going to go down through the center two cords with this blue and out the back side. And at this point, I can undo my FID. Undo the FID. And these are two different lengths right here, so I need to undo the white because i got to pull the white a little bit different than the blue because they're different lengths. 
we'll get the white adjusted on there. And I'm going to do my last tie right over top of that one. Pull the blue up. Or not the blue. Yeah, you don't want to pull the blue. You want that to go out the back. And your black goes up through there. Now on the back side of this, you want to make sure that your last tie kind of sandwiches the blue and the white one in between here. You don't want the blue and the white coming up near the buckle. Alright. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick. So, now that you have this black one that comes up out of the back side, because you've got two, you've got one that comes up out of the top of the bracelet right here, and then you have one that comes out the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the right side, and we're on the back of this now. We're going to loosen this loop up and take the one that comes out of the back of the bracelet and run it across the bracelet through the loop on the right. So this will actually be coming out the same hole that the top one does. And what this is going to do is when I melt this, let me tighten this up just a little bit. Okay, so you're going to tighten it almost all the way up and get that loop out of the way. So when we cut and melt this, what we can do is this is going to pull and it's going to cover that little melted spot. It's a little trick I've been working on and I haven't seen anywhere else do it. So we're just going to cut these relatively close to the weave. Open that up a little bit. Hit this with a lighter. And I don't know where my smoothing tool is, so we're going to use the back of this. Kind of squish this down in there so it doesn't pull through. Okay, now this should be nice and tight, so you just pull this cord, and look at that, it just covers it right up. And then you just want to pull these two tight. We're going to cut our ends right there. And melt our ends like we normally do. There we go. Okay. Now, we need to do the same thing on the other side, but what I want to do is first make sure that the length is going to be right once it's adjusted. And see the white just kind of stays right in there, it doesn't move at all. And what the purpose of the white is, the white, if you look at the lightsabers or any like fluorescent tubing, the center of the tube is going to be the brightest. So it almost has like a white appearance to it, just like that does. And see we have to fix the white here. Um, but I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and fix the, fix up this white. And you can see it's when it's not on your wrist, you're going to have some loops here. That's just because they're not tied down. But see, once you start to roll this over, that's when it becomes tight. And you'll probably have to just adjust this white one so that it goes on top. But once it's on top and it's on your wrist, it's not going to move. Um, I'm going to adjust this end because it's a little off. And I'll be back to show you how to finish off this end right here. Okay, so the last step I've got to do, and as you can see, I've got the, the white in the center of this now. Um, so that's what I just fixed. Um, so the last step I got to do is you want to you want to close this, make sure everything looks good, and I still have to adjust it once it's on the wrist. Don't forget you're going to have to adjust it a little bit as you wear it. Um, once it's once it's closed, that means that my length is correct. So you're going to just open this up, and right where these come out, that's where you need to cut it and melt them. You don't want them to move from that point because it'll kind of throw off the design a little bit. Um, let me get these on here and cut that there. Great little cord cutting shears. They're available on the websites. Or, uh, actually, I'm sorry, they're only available right now on uh, boardparacord.com, but they work great. Great little cutters. Smooth it on. And if you have a smoothing tool, that's better than a lighter. But if not, the back of the lighter works good. Okay, and that's perfect. Couldn't have done that any better without irritating your skin. 
Um, but there it is. That is the uh, Star Wars inspired blue lightsaber paracord bracelet. Um, I hope you can see it. Yeah, I think you can see it in the, in the camera. Um, hope you like it. You could also do this with the green or the red. And you don't need white cord because all you're doing is using the, uh, the center strands, which are white. And they're kind of shiny too, so they're much shinier than just the white paracord. Um, hope you like it. Check out Paracord On. It's a Facebook group on uh, Facebook. Facebook group on Facebook, of course. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, go to facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on, and that's where I hang out, and I hope to see you in there and see what you're creating. Until next time, paracord on.